Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is your host, Andres Salazar. We're here, The Art of Comics. We're talking about Batman. Yeah, we're talking about DC Comics. I haven't done mainstream comics in a while. I did the the Conan the Barbarian, I think, last week, but I don't do a lot of that. As you know, I've been doing a lot of manga because of the Japan trip. I've been doing a lot of indie people that send me stuff. If you're an indie creator, you want to send me some books. Or if you're freaking a creator who works for Marvel, send me a book. I'll, I'll talk about it. Um, so this is a series. This is a book that I got called Batman Dark Knight Dynasty. It is uh, part of a collection I got, Eagle Moss Collections. These, I believe, are reprints of books that are reprinted, I believe, in England. They're like kind of more the book style of comics in this kind of format, um, but they're reprints for international, like English, they're English speaking international, I think like London, things like that. So I don't think they're connected to Titan books, but for some reason I'm like, I've got Titan in my mind, maybe just cause they're, they're British. Um, so yeah, it is English. Yeah, it's British. Um, these guys reprinted back in 2018 this is written by Michael Barr. He wrote the whole thing. But then we have various artists throughout. There's three main kind of stories. Scott Hampton, Gary Frank, Cam Smith, Scott McDaniel, and Bill Sienkiewicz. So big names, right? And I don't know Mike Barr that much. The name doesn't ring my bell so much. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'm cool, cool enough for this. I just... Am I not cool enough for Batman? Am I not? Somehow I'm not picking. I'm not feeling this. Um, I really like Scott Scott Hampton. Scott Hampton, and I'll, I'll flip the camera over in a minute to show you some of this. Scott Hampton does great work. He did some. He did a Gotham, a story set in Gotham. It wasn't Batman. It was this other character. Uh, shoot. Simon Dark. Is that it? Simon the Dark? Simon Dark. I think it's Simon Dark. I love his colors. I love his line work. I love his compositions. He's great. This story is, is a Vandal Savage story. So he's the main villain. So as you can imagine, it goes through these time periods. One is, you know, the Batman Joshua, you know, Reinhardt is uh, a Knights Templar. Okay, so Knights Templar, Batman, then it's modern day, our kind of Batman. Then the futuristic Batman, which is like a Planet of the Apes world. I don't, it's very strange. And the art, Sienkiewicz is doing it, but this looks like Bill, this looks like Beasley. Simon Beasley and Bill Sienkiewicz are the same person when it comes to this like loose pencil work or loose ink. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing. I love them both, but I don't know, man. It feels not quite there. Ah, oh, shit. I, it just, what do I say? I get the idea, kinda. I don't even know if I get the idea of this book. Like, okay, I like Elseworlds. This is an Elseworld. I love those Elseworld stories. You know, Batman. Gotham by Gaslight is freaking up there, dude, with one of my favorite books of all time. Um, it, Red Sun, I think it's the, the super, Superman one uh, about the Russia or whatever. Um, it's just, it's just, I don't understand. I don't understand what's going on. He's, Vandal Savage is trying to get some, he's, his quest is understanding, is learning, is you know, uncovering the mysteries of the universe, right? So he should just join the damn Masons, okay? But, so he's into esoteric stuff, but this is so obtuse, the story. He's trying to get this meteor, getting information from the meteor. We don't really know what, okay? And then in modern day, same thing. And in the, the future, it's just, I'm not getting it. Is it? Then they, then they, at the end, they throw this little old, um, this old Flash story, and I didn't read it. But now that I'm thinking about it, would this have clued me in on the whole freaking story? 
is there's Vandal Savage, he's here. But is it like something on Mars that's or this meteor that's like has some kind of power? I don't I don't know. The the ending the the the, the last third third act with the Planet of the Apes Robin. There's like a, a chimpanzee Robin. It's clearly like a Planet of the Apes world. There's like under Gotham and over Gotham and they're underground Gotham and everything. I'm just, I don't get it. I just don't freaking, I don't really, I read it. I enjoyed some of the art. I think I started to enjoy it, but then by the third act, I just didn't know what the hell's going on. It wasn't very clear how they transitioned you know, it, it felt like three different stories that were somewhat related because there is the, there is this meteor that is a part of it. And they're wanting to, he's wanting to get something there, but we don't really know what. I mean, five centuries, 500 centuries, you know, since you became immortal. I don't know. I'm not cool enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm not clever enough. I don't know. I just could not do this. And uh, so I'm going to sell this mofo. Um, let me flip the camera over. Let me show you some art because there's some good art in here. But as far as the story, sorry, Mr. Barr, I didn't pick it up. Now, I wasn't like watching TV. I was reading this properly. I was like trying to pay attention. I was like, you know, I was awake. I wasn't like reading it late at night. I, but I just couldn't find the through line of the story. So there you go. That, that is my take. Okay, guys. Here is the story in the Batman book. Um, by the way, I'm filming all this with the Fujifilm X-H2. I just received. I'm going to be doing a um, film shoot next week i'll be going to, to courtside arizona to keep working on the documentary so if you want to learn a little bit about that documentary see some of the videos that i'm working on you can do that on my other youtube channel which is my name andre salazar go check that out there the documentary you can also see more stuff on my patreon page so check that out so now that i did that little plug and i think i'm going to do a video of this camera I just got it literally two days ago, so I'm testing out different things. Uh, so far, I really like, I mean, it's an expensive freaking camera. It's probably more than I should have paid for, so it's nice. Okay, Dark Knight Dynasty. Um, you know, it's, it, they always, these Eagle, what do they call it, Eagle Grams or Eagle Moss collections do these little, like, little primo, little promo pages. Um, the story so far, really there is no story so far. It's the, the story is, this is an Elseworlds, but it is of no way of the same quality of say, Gotham of Gaslight or any of these others. But basically it's that, you know, these are three stories that are connected because it does have to do with um, Vandal Savage and loosely I would say. And so they're kind of disjointed in my the point of view, but I really like the first one called Dark Past by the artist uh, Scott Hampton, uh, right? Am I right there? Yeah, Scott Hampton. And he did that book I was talking to you about called Simon Dark, which was set in Gotham, but it was not a Batman story. Okay, you can see why I love it, right? I love the painterly watercolor, fully painted stuff. It reminds me of like John Muth type stuff, like in Moonshadow, things like that huge fan of i love this chiaroscuro really dark you know stuff that he's pulling out this from the shadows it's just really pretty it's just so freaking good so that alone it's good but i mean you know <laughs> i wouldn't necessarily own it um yeah, look at this face. Just really great stuff. I'd love to see some of the the reference he did and the modeling and probably took a lot of photos to, to get things looking just right. But it's beautiful. And I do like the idea of Batman, uh, his ancestors being like part of the Knights Templar, right? And that there's this connection with these uh, esoteric uh, 
groups and powerful organizations, right, that are out there to, you know, I don't know, save the world or protect the secrets of the world, something like that. <clears throat> and then we have, I mean, this is cool too, the design of these little castles and such. So this is, by the way, his name is Joshua. So Joshua uh, is putting on this kind of, uh, you know, Assassin's Creed type of Batman armor. He fights these kind of strange golem-like creatures. Uh, not golem, golem creatures. Um, not really sure what that's all about. We don't really have any explanation. It just kind of happens. But look at the art. Look at that right there. This also is evocative of Simon Beasley's uh, Slain, right? The Horn God. That's a great book by Kitchen Sink Press, I believe. Um, yeah, this kind of stuff. It's just great. I freaking love it. It's beautiful. Wonderful. I wish the whole freaking book was this. Look at that. Isn't this great? Isn't that wonderful? It's so good. Um, he's getting roasted by Vandal Savage, who's a big jerk. And then at the end of this, he's like, you know, he's like, I always win, right? I always win. You know, his enemy gets burned to the stake. Joshua gets burned to the stake. And he's like, Vandal Savage, always win, immortal. Now we get present day. By the way, this is a great mural. Love that. Um, and the artist for this is... I think this is Scott McDaniel, because I think Gary Frank is doing the inks. No, I don't know, actually. No, I take that back. I don't know. It could be uh, this. It looks more like Scott McDaniel, but I have no idea. So, there you go. Um, this is in the modern time. Vandal Savage, like, works for... Bruce in, uh, works for the Wayne family, and both Thomas and Martha are still alive. Uh, Bruce is getting married to this gal, Julie. So, I mean, it's, a, it's an Elseworlds, clearly. But Vandal is going to be involved in the death of Martha and Jonathan. Not John. Yeah, Jonathan. Um... So they're going to get killed. Now, also, Vandal has this, like, scarecrow type of chick that I don't really know what that's about. So there's just some strangeness, which is fine. It's Elseworlds. You can create your own enemies and, you know, change it up. But how it's connected to the previous one, I don't know. I mean, they mentioned Joshua Wainwright, but they don't really, like, it doesn't, it doesn't freaking make too much sense. Uh, it's not clear to me. So this is just kind of so-so. But then we go to the meteorite, which which they mentioned in the first story. Um, and they're kind of doing some kind of space battle, and they both are in space, and they plummet to the Earth, and guess who lives? Well, Vandal Savage, you know, is, you know, reconstitutes, regenerates, and freaking Wayne is dead. Now we go to Dark Future. So I'm like, okay, Dark Future. Now we're going to tie it up, right? First off, Sienkiewicz is doing the art. I don't know, man. Maybe he's just doing the inks. Maybe something something's not right. Or maybe he's just phoning it in. I don't know. He's one of my favorite artists, but this is definitely not my favorite work. They start mentioning uh, the Under Gotham. I'm like, okay. Lower Gotham, Under Gotham. And then we see these armed guards, and they're all like primates. So, what's going on? And now we see it's kind of a space kind of world. There's primates. Um, you know, this chick here, who is this girl? Well, she's going to be the Batman. We go down here. Uh, they've got kind of a bat cave. The monkey becomes... Um, kind of a well it's a partner and then you know here we go here's the new batman batman is this chick with uh, the chimp as robin i don't know i don't really get it i don't get how this is all connecting um 
Yeah, dude. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm lost to it. So, <laughs> and then it ends, like I mentioned, with this like flash reprint, which I didn't read, honestly. So, um, there you have it. Yeah, not, not my favorite. So, we're selling that. So, there you go, guys. Uh, have a good one. Thanks for watching, and talk to you later. Bye.